Hi boys and girls. Well this week we're learning all about insects and today I want to teach you about an insect who's a very very helpful insect especially to farmers and to gardeners really to anybody who really likes plants and likes to eat fruits and vegetables. We need these little insects to help us and we're going to find out why in a few minutes. But before we do that can you guess what the insect is? Take a guess. See if you can pick out what the insect is we're talking about today. You're amazing. You guessed ladybugs, didn't you? Indeed they are ladybugs. Ladybugs are also called ladybird beetles. Depends on where you're from as to what you call them. Here in this part of America, we usually call them ladybugs. But just so you know, they do go by other names too. And ladybird beetles is, is a pretty important one. Now, the reason that they call them ladybird beetles is because they are actually a form of beetle. And there are about 300 different thousand, 300,000 different kinds of beetles in the world, ladybugs being one of them. Ladybugs also come in all different colors. They're not just red and black. They're not, really. Some of them are all black. Some of them are orange, yellow, white, all black, or even pink. Did you know that ladybugs could be pink? And they don't all have spots either. But the ones that I have little toys of or puppets of, they're going to be all red and black for today. And I just think they're beautifully colored. So let's get started. Well, what makes a ladybug an insect? We learned about some different parts of an insect, so let's go over these parts and see what a ladybug has. See if a ladybug truly is an insect. Does a ladybug have a head? Mm-hmm. There's her little black head. Does a ladybug have, let's move down in her body, a thorax? This part right here, and including this part right here. Some people think that's their eyes and their head, but it's not. Their head's tinier up here. So the thorax. And then the ladybug also has an abdomen, head, thorax, abdomen. Let's take a look at the head. What parts does a ladybug have on its head? We learned all insects have eyes. Let's see. Yep, one, two, two eyes on our ladybug. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't holding that up enough. And the ladybug also has a mouth right there. Oh, oh, I'm just kidding. My ladybug didn't bite me because I'm not an insect. We'll learn about what they do like to eat in a little bit. Also, ladybug have two antennae coming out of their heads, right between their eyes. You can see her two antennae right there. Now, what does the ladybug use all those parts for? Let's see. Well, their eyes, they want to see with their eyes. Ladybugs don't have real good eyesight. Um, but this insect and many other insects have these things called compound eyes. Now, when we look through our eyes, our eyes work together and we see what we're looking at and we usually just see one of those things. When I look at one of you, I see one person. Would you like to see through bug eyes? I have this really cool thing. It's called insect eyes and I'm going to look through my insect eyes and I'm going to look at you and see what you look like. Whoa! There are like a hundred of you out there. Oh my goodness! Would you like to see what insects see through their compound eyes. I'm going to hold this up to the lens of the camera and I want you to look at this one ladybug. See there's only one right here, just one. But watch what happens when you look through compound eyes. How many ladybugs are you seeing now? Let me get it in focus. Whoa, there are like 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 ladybugs. That's how an insect sees through their compound eyes. They have many lenses on each one of their eyes. All right, so that's the compound eyes. Now how about the antenna? Those are a little different than something that we have too. We don't have antenna, but we do have these, <laughs> our noses. Ladybugs use their antenna like we use our noses. We use our noses to smell things, right? To see if something smells good to eat. Well, ladybugs don't have noses, so they have to use their antenna, and that's their sense of smell. So they'll walk up to something with their antenna, and they'll, they'll touch it, they'll smell it through their antenna, 
and then they decide if it smells like something good or something bad. So ladybugs use their antenna to smell. Now, they don't breathe air through their antenna, like we breathe air through our noses. To breathe air, and they do need air, they're a living creature, they have little tiny holes in the sides of their thorax and in the sides of their abdomen. And those tiny little holes are called spiracles. And that is where the air goes in and out so the ladybug can breathe air. Pretty amazing how God created these ladybugs. He thought of everything. So let's see. Oh, they also have their mouths, and that's how they eat the insects that they eat. And let's move down in their bodies, the thorax. The thorax is where their legs are attached to their body. How many legs does an insect have? Do you remember? Did you say six? Let's see if Ladybug has six legs. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ladybug has six legs, so therefore, Ladybug is an insect. Very good. All right, now, not all insects have wings, but Ladybugs do. Ladybugs have two sets of wings. They have the harder wings that are their outer covering, and there are two of them, one on each side. But ladybugs don't use those wings to fly. Those ladybugs' wings are for protection, and they're called the elytra. Can you say that word? Elytra. That's the hard outer covering of ladybugs to protect the wings that are underneath. The wings that are underneath these wings are the actual flying wings. So the ladybug has to move the elytra, the hard outer covering, out of the way, and her delicate, transparent wings are underneath. Let me show you that with my little ladybug puppet. I'm going to lift up her hard outer covering wings, and this is what she does when she's going to fly. She lifts them up, and underneath you can see her see-through, that's what transparent means, her transparent see-through wings, and those are her flying wings. So she makes those wings flap and move so that she can fly from leaf to leaf and plant to plant. All right, so that's a little bit about a ladybug's body. Now let's find out how a ladybug grows. Well, what happens is the ladybug, since they can fly, they fly around through the air, and when they decide that they're ready to have their babies, they decide that they're ready to lay their eggs. All insects start as an egg, so that will be stage one of the life cycle of our ladybug. But ladybugs are pretty smart. They just won't land anywhere to, have to lay their eggs. They pick a leaf that has lots of tiny little pesty bugs on it, pesty to farmers, pesty to gardeners, because these little insects called aphids or mites. Mites are another kind of insect that destroy plants. They will eat through those leaves and they destroy a plant. They suck out all the juices of the leaves, make them get all dried out, even put some holes in the leaves. Eventually, if the plants don't have the leaves to take in the oxygen and the sunshine, they're gonna die. So they can actually, these little aphids can actually kill a plant. And if they kill the plant, the fruit will never grow on that plant, flowers will never grow, and vegetables will never grow. They need their leaves. So we want to get rid of those aphids, and who's the superhero bug to do it? Ladybugs. That's why ladybugs are so helpful. They eat the insects that destroy plants. So you can see why farmers and gardeners and all people who love plants really love this helpful little insect, the ladybug. So the ladybug chooses where she's going to lay her eggs, and she lands on that leaf. Now when she lays her eggs, she's very careful to put them near the aphids so that her little babies, when they hatch out of their eggs, will be able to start eating right away. Because when this ladybug lays her eggs, she then flies away. So here's my leaf that has all my little ladybug eggs on them. They're just little round yellow balls. That's what ladybug eggs look like. So that's stage one of the life of a ladybug, the eggs. 
So I'm going to leave these little aphids here. I'm going to put that right by my leaf with my little eggs on it. And this ladybug mommy, she flies away. She doesn't stay and raise her babies because they have everything they need right there. She took care of the food. She took care of where to put them to be safe. So what happens is after a few days, those eggs start to hatch. And what comes out is a ladybug larva. That's the next stage. And here is what a ladybug larva looks like. Hmm, doesn't quite look like a ladybug yet, does it? This is a ladybug baby though, and it's called a larva. So this ladybug larva comes out of its eggs, and so do all the brothers and sisters, and they start eating those aphids. And they eat, and they eat, and they eat until they're full. And then their skin gets really tight. Well, they can't just go out and buy a new outfit, a new skin, like you and I can go out and buy new clothing when we start to get bigger, but they can't do that. So they shed their skin. That means that they molt. They come right out of their skin, but don't worry. They have other skin on right underneath. They leave that old tiny skin behind and they have new skin. And they do that about three or four times. They molt and they eat and they eat like 25 aphids a day. They eat a lot for a tiny little insect. Then what happens is after they molt for the last time, and they decide that they're really full and they're ready to become a ladybug, they go into the next stage, stage three, which is the pupa stage. In the pupa stage, they kind of get a hard coating on the outside of them, but don't worry, they're still doing something inside. They're no longer eating aphids, but they're growing and they're changing and they're getting wings. See, in this stage, they don't have their wings yet. They look quite different. They're gonna totally change inside that pupa. And after a while, the ladybug starts to break out of her pupa. Stage four is the adult ladybug. And there's the ladybug that we all know and love. Now, when they first come out, they don't have their spots, if they're going to have spots. They might be kind of a dull color, might be a little wet. So it takes them a little while until they brighten up and get to be their full color and have their spots on them. And then they're the beautiful ladybugs. So what you're going to get at home, mommies and daddies got this paper in the email that we sent, and it's a ladybug's life. So what you can do is do what we just did. You can tell the whole life cycle of a ladybug. So you can color your little yellow eggs. That's where ladybugs start. That's number one. Then the ladybug comes out of its egg, and it's a larva. And look at those colors black and white and orange, so you can color that. Then you can color the pupa stage right here. And here's the pupa stage of the ladybug. Then you can color the full grown ladybug. Now, after you color them really beautifully, you can cut them out. There's a little scissor showing you what to do. Cut each one of these stages of the ladybug's life out on those dotted lines. And then after you cut them out, you have to put them in order. So what will be number one? You're right, the eggs. So you'll glue the eggs right here on number one. What will be number two? The larva. Paste the picture of the larva on number two. What will be number three? The pupa. So you can paste the pupa right on number three. And what will be number four? Mm-hmm the full grown ladybug right here on number four. So you can do that all by yourself. Have some fun with that. All right, now I wanna show you a picture of what real aphids look like. My aphids were tiny little green spots so you could see, but here's a picture of what real aphids look like. But don't worry, that little ladybug is gonna go get them. Look at that, pretty incredible. I also have a picture here of real pictures of the life cycle of a ladybug. So here's what the eggs really look like. And then here's the larva, the pupa, and our full grown ladybug. That was the ladybug we were looking at with our compound eyes. All right, ladybugs are really, really helpful insects. Now, there's one more thing that I have got to tell you about ladybugs. God made them really tiny, and really able to eat the insects that are not good for our plants. Do you know what else God did? He protected them. He gave them the ability to protect themselves. So here's what ladybugs do. 
we're going to act it out in a song. Birds are kind of like the enemies of ladybugs. Birds like to eat ladybugs. They like to eat lots of little insects. So birds will come swooping down for a ladybug. And do you know what God gave that ladybug? God gave that ladybug the ability to play dead when it sees a bird coming. So a ladybug will go like this and get real still and play dead. And then the ladybug, if that bird keeps coming, the ladybug can also squirt a little bit of its blood out of its legs and it stinks and it's yellow and it's sticky and it's icky and pew stinky and it squirts that blood out of its legs, squirt, 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 and the bird will smell that and whoo, that stinks, I'm out of here. I don't want to eat you, you're a stinky food and it flies away. So let's do our song. So everybody look like a little ladybug. Ladybug, ladybug, turn around. Watch out, here comes a bird swooping down. Ladybug, ladybug, what will you do? First I'll play dead, then squirt my stinky goo. Yay, you got rid of that bird. Good job, ladybugs. Have a great day and really enjoy learning all about insects. Bye, boys and girls.